much rent do you pay? 160 a week. One of us is only paying 80 bucks. The scumbag. Whatever this little piece of paper says, you need to know that your mother was a special woman. Whatever it says, I'm glad of me. Who is the boy anyway? That, Vaughn, is my son. <sighs> I don't believe it. I just spent half an hour convincing Dad not to fire him. Call him. No, I want to tear strips off him in person. Not Brody, your father. What for? If Brody doesn't mind ripping off his flatmates, he's not going to think twice about helping himself to cash and booze at the IV, is he? <sighs> yeah, but if he loses his job, we won't get any money out of him. That's not the point. Do you really want a guy like that running your sister's bar? Well, the guy's meant to be a mate. How's it going to look if I go running to Daddy? What mate charges you extra rent to subsidise his own? I know, but the Ivy's been through enough trouble already. I just want to keep Sophie and Dad out of it. And do what? <sighs> Sit Brody down and have a talk with him. There'll be some cock and bull story. You know there will. Probably, but let's hear it, eh? It might have been a genuine mistake. <laughs> well, sweet as mate, I'll see you next time. Uh, by mate, I mean, I've, I've never seen that guy before in my life. He's a genuine paying customer. He w walked in off the street. No bribes attached. <laughs> Honest. And I'm sure he's not the only one. Well, you should have been in here an hour ago. The place was full of them. Be quiet now, though. Yeah, well, that happens around this time of day. It'll pick up again about four. Spoken like an old hand. Well, I do have some idea of what I'm doing. Hunter's very words. Actually, um, Hunter was more persuasive than that. Hey? He made the point that three or four days in the job isn't really enough time to judge someone on. Even when they'd made uh, one or two spectacularly stupid mistakes. Um, are you firing me? I, I can't tell. No one's getting fired. You're not even being demoted. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank Hunter. Why? Well, he must have been listening after I, I didn't think I'd gotten through to him. Sorry? Well, I, I, I tried telling him how much I'm loving this job. I haven't been this up about anything since med school. Was that when you got into med school or when you got kicked out? Have you ever had a dream turn sour on you? It takes a little while to come back sometimes. Yeah, I know it does. Anyway, good luck. Mean it. Congratulations. Shouldn't you be passing around cigars? A few drinks may be in order. Can you wait until I get rid of this headache? We should have left you alone. Uh, no, no, I wanted to know. If you hadn't come around, I would have had to call you. Phoenix was in a hurry to pack. So it's all on. You're moving into your dad's place? Yeah. Does his brother know? Not yet. Take your time packing. I need to talk to Harry. I haven't got that much stuff. Take your time anyway. I'll come back for you later. Yeah. Harry's a good kid. You'll like him. Yeah, I already do. They cross paths in my exam room. Harry has no idea. This is going to be interesting. Hey, Harry, mate. You got a brother and he's moving in today. Too soon. Well, it's going to be a shock to the system whenever it happens. You just sit tight and I'll grab a doctor for you. Right, that's your discharge letter, but you are not going anywhere until I find some crutches for you. Have you used them before? Uh, excuse me, Maxwell. Won't be long. Right, what have we got here? Uh, this is Tom, works in a fertilizer plant, thinks he's inhaled something toxic. Okay, any idea what? Uh, nitric acid, he thinks. Okay, so sore throat, tight chest, runny nose, all that. Okay, buddy, you've probably burned the mucous membrane in your respiratory tract, okay? But I need to have a look. Um, I'm gonna do a little thing called an arterial blood gas, but I need to listen to your chest first. Can you organize a chest x-ray for me, please? Sure. Stethoscope, where have I left it now? Thank you. Mm, so I'm not invisible. That's really good to know. What do you mean? I was just standing here doing nothing. And uh, Vasa looked right through me and then decided to drag you away from that patient instead. All uh, right. Um, and are you able to organize some crutches for that lady and send her on her way? Sure. Hey, mate. Where's Isaac? Upstairs. Do you want to watch my soccer game? I'll go get the camera. Um, let's do that later. I want to talk to you about something. What have I done? Nothing. Just have a seat. <clears throat> You know that boy Phoenix that you met at the hospital? You thought he was a patient, but he wasn't. Who was he? I didn't know this until today, not for sure. Phoenix is my son, your brother, half-brother. What? Remember me talking about a woman called Alison? Is she one of the ones you're married to? 
A long time ago. Like 14 years. Did Phoenix tell you how old he was? Did he tell you what happened to his mum? No. She drowned last year. I, I didn't know that either. I hadn't seen her for a long time. Why not? Well, we weren't very nice to each other when we split up. Alison didn't really want to know me anymore. That's not fair. Oh, I don't know. I was pretty horrible to her. But what about Phoenix? Alison didn't tell me about him. I didn't even know he existed until a few days ago. He's been living with one of his mum's uncles, but he can't really look after him anymore. So they came up here to find me. Uh, Phoenix has been staying at Scotty's place while we sort it all out. Well, what do you mean? Well, Phoenix needs somewhere to live, and I want him to move in here with us. It'll be a big change, I know, but you liked it when Isaac moved in, and this will be even better. Someone closer to your own age, someone you can play with and talk to. A brother. Yes? Perfect. I'll type for you. I think I can manage. Can you write me a note excusing me from going tonight? <laughs> type yourself, I'm cooking. Again? Two nights running. You don't mind, do you? I was going to make casserole of all of the ingredients. Sorry. It's OK. It's just one of Maxwell's favourites, that's all. Uh, I'm not eating, remember, huh? I've got the Ministry of Health thing. Oh, that mental meeting I forgot. Mm. There. How do I look? I could lose the tie. I did tell you I was going out tonight. Mm-hmm. But that's not what's bugging you. What is? Hey, are you sure don't want to eat before you leave? It's only going to be in 10 minutes. No, no, thanks. I'll save you some. Okay. That. That is what's bugging me. What? How many different ways can that woman find to demand your attention? And she gets it. Every single time. I'm Isaac. Chris's cousin on his mother's side. Which makes me your... flatmate. Where's Harry? He shot upstairs when he heard the car. I'll go get him. Don't expect too much. It's still sinking in. Sure. Ah, Harry. Brother's here. Hi. Hi. Do you have to do that now? I haven't even introduced you two. It's OK. What game are you playing? All right, is that the one you were telling me about? Uh, will you show me how it works? Harry, 